Yeah, good morning, Evan and JB. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you're mentioning Sondland and his testimony, of course, uh, saying there that he said there was quid pro quo, which is the words that many House Democrats were trying to uh, find there. They were searching for from him. But Republicans in the House are saying uh, this is just... Um, presumptive. It's not, uh, it's just something that he said. It's not exactly verified just yet. So there's been a bit of back and forth on Sondland's testimony there. Now let's take a look at what's going to happen today. We have Dr. Fiona Hill and David Holmes. Now Hill was inside that White House meeting on July 10th that was abruptly cut short by Sondland, who I just mentioned, because they said he was mentioning the investigation. Now that's the investigation that they were talking about between President Trump and Ukraine, that they're saying that there was some, something going on there that in exchange for a White House visit for the president of Ukraine, he had to look in to the Bidens, is what they were saying. Bolton was in that, me that meeting. He cut it short and said to Hill that she would, uh, he didn't want to be a part of this and kind of told her to go look into it further. And that's where she went from there, and that's why she is here today. Now we have David Holmes, who was overhearing the call, another call between Sondland and President Trump that happened the day after the now infamous call between President Trump and the president of Ukraine. A lot of calls there, so I'm trying to keep it straight for you. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. So David Holmes overheard that in a restaurant in Ukraine. He'll be testifying about what he heard. So far, he's told uh, House committee members that he had never seen anything like it. Now, of course, he overheard it, but in terms of seeing it, seeing it in a restaurant, seeing the president make a call, un unclassified, on an open phone line to a member of his staff, Sondlin, inside this restaurant. He had never seen anything like it. So that's a little bit of taste of what we may expect to hear later this morning.